Hi everyone and welcome to the basic cloud channel. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the steps how to remove messages from a service bus queue in Azure. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm already logged in to the Azure portal and here on the resource group, here's my resource group, basic cloud. And in there, there's also a service bus. The service bus also has a queue, but the queue doesn't have any messages yet. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to put some messages in my service bus queue. So I can also demonstrate how you can remove them. Well, since you might already have some messages in your queue, you can skip this part and move a little further into this video where I'm going to remove the messages. But for now, I'm going to first add a few. So for that, I will need a few things. I will need to have my primary key and I also need to have the connection string. So I will close this blade and I'll move to the top location under shared access policies. There is a policy called root manage shared access key. That's the default policy that, will, that you will get when you create a service bus. But I prefer not to use it, so I'm going to create a new one. Click on the add button and I will call it basic cloud policy. I'll give it all the permissions that it needs and I'll just create the or the, the create button. So the new policy will be created by Azure. So that will take a few seconds to complete. And once that is created, I can open it and I can see a few information like the primary key, the secondary key, the connection string, and secondary connection string. And for now, I will need the primary connection string. So I will copy that one. So I have it now copied and I will go to Visual Studio. And in Visual Studio, I have a script. Uh, in a console application, which will create a few messages. So we only need to change two values. That's the connection string here at line 25 and the queue name at line 26. So I'm going to remove this value and I'm going to paste in the information that I got from the Azure portal. I also need to change my queue name and my queue name is called basic cloud. So now that is changed, I can uh, I can start this script and it will put a message in my queue. So let's hit the start button. There we go. Message ID successfully sent. Hit enter. And I'm just going to repeat those steps a few times. I think that I want to have five messages in my queue. Okay, exit, do that once again, and exit, and exit. Okay, let's switch back to the Azure portal, go to my queue. And as you can see, I now have five messages in there. Great. But the purpose of this video was to get the messages from there. So what we need to do is we need to remove them from the queue using our SAS key. And to generate the SAS key, we need to have the primary key from the shared access policy. So I'm just closing this service bus blade here, I'm going to shared access policy, I'm going to my basic cloud policy, and here I can find my primary key. I'll just copy it, switching back to PowerShell, and I already opened my script, it's called generate SAS token. And in here, we need to change line 16, 17, and 18. So line 16, that's the URL of my service bus and my queue. Line 17, that's my access policy name. This is what we call the basic cloud policy. And on line 18, we have the primary key. So let's just remove this one and paste in the code. And with that, we're ready to go. So we're going to select this text and we're going to execute the code and then it will give us the SAS token. So we are at the bottom of this. This is our SAS token, great. So with the SAS token, we can authenticate and we can remove messages from our queue. So let's switch 
to the other script. It's called remove messages using remove message using PowerShell. And in there, we will use the SAS token to generate a header, and the header will be used to delete messages from our queue. It will remove the first 5,000 messages, but since I only have five of them, I will change this to five, four, but I'll leave it to five. And then I can select this piece of code and run the selection. And here you can see it's removing all my messages from the queue. Finished. And if I switch back to my queue, basic cloud, here you can see that my messages have all been removed and my active message count is zero. So that's it for today. Uh, all the scripts that I just showed you are available for download. The location is in the description field. If you have any comments, post them in the comments field below. And if you have not subscribed yet to this channel, make sure you do. So thanks for watching and see you next time.